Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant and I'm your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about U-scoped discovery search. With Microsoft Teams scoped discovery search, the administrator can create virtual boundaries that control how users communicate with each other within the organization. Microsoft Teams provide custom views of this discovery to the company users. Once the policy has been enabled, the results returned by searches for other users will be scoped according to the configured policies. User will not be able to search or discover Teams when scope search is in an effect. Note that in case of exchange hybrid environments, this feature will not work Note that in case of Exchange Hybrid Environment, this feature will only work with Exchange Online Mailboxes, not with On-Prem Mailboxes. So when should you use Scope Discovery Searches? You may use the Scope Discovery Searches when your organization has multiple companies within a single tenant and you want to segment searches by companies. Or you would like to limit chat with between faculty and students or different departments. So let's go and find out how to turn on scope discovery search. To turn on scope discovery search, you need to do it in Teams Admin Center. So I'm going to go to Teams Admin Center. So under org wide settings, select Teams Settings. Scroll down till you find search by name. So when you turn this on, this is how you will turn on scope discovery search using an exchange, using an exchange address book policy. You need to wait at least 24 hours after enabling scope discovery search before you can set up or define information barrier policies. Now that we have learned about what is scope discovery search, and how to turn on scope discovery search. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to manage GDPR data subject request. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.